Hey guys, this is Matt. Welcome to tonight's first little uh, video snippet on how to do something. This uh, comes from me dealing with a runaway SVC host um, process today at work. I figured out how uh, to troubleshoot it and I just want to go ahead and kind of share that with you. So uh, the first thing you're going to need to do, uh, if your SVC host is running at like 50% CPU or 100% CPU, you want to get on Google, go to go search for something called uh, Process Explorer. It's going to take you over to uh, TechNet. And Process Explorer was developed by uh, Mark Rosinovich. Okay, I think I did that right. Um, he had a little company called Sys Internals. And I think Microsoft bought them. Anyway, they have a ton of great utilities out there. I use this at my uh, full-time job. I am a system administrator, so I do use these kind of utilities all the time. Anyway, uh, this is, this download is 1.07 megabytes. It's really simple to use. Just click download, download now, and I have it here. Uh, but we have to do a bit of pretending. Uh, I don't have a SVC host uh, issue on this computer, but I'm going to show you how you can find out what service is causing your high CPU usage. So we'll just go ahead and drag out Process Explorer. I'll replace it since I already had it out there. Uh, we'll go ahead and open it up. It doesn't have to install or anything. It just starts pulling in data right away. So uh, let's see. You can see our CPU, see what's using it, and Normally, if you looked at your task manager, you would see SVC host. And you may see one of these running at 50% or 100% CPU. You have no idea what's causing that. Uh, Process Explorer will go ahead and, and let you know. It's not that difficult at all. What you'll do is, again, we have to pretend here, you'll right click on an SVC host. And we'll go to CP, let's just create a name so it's not moving around so much. And right up here at the top, we'll just click on one of these and we'll say properties. And if you click on the threads tab, chances are you will see one. Uh, if you're using 50 or, or like, well, like I said, 100% CPU, you'll see one near the top. And it will not be this. It won't say this RT user thread start. It will actually give the service name of the actual thread. I'll see if I can try to trigger that, but it's probably not going to happen. What can I do to trigger that? Uh, most of the time when I come up against a runaway SVC host, it's uh, um, Windows Update. As you can see, there are many SVC hosts, though. You've got one there, you got some there. And what we can do is try to trigger it. Yeah, so it's this one right here. We'll go ahead and hit properties. And uh, it went by way too quick. Um, yeah, so it's kind of a bad example, but this is what you can use to find a runaway SVC host. Um, I wish I had one that was messed up, but I don't. But I still think this video is kind of critical for those people that are facing that because I see a lot of posts online about how to figure out why SVC host is running is taking up so much CPU. So this was just a little snippet, a little video on how to find out what's taking up uh, all your CPU via SVC host. And I'll talk to you later.